Blooming Boutique, with four convenient locations in Lewis, Rehoboth, Bethany, and Milford. It's time for the 87th Annual Shake Teak Volunteer Fire Company's Carnival and Wild Pony Swim, the Eastern Shore's world-famous event. The fun begins at 7 p.m. on June 29th and continues every Friday and Saturday night through August 4th. Bring the family out for games, rides, and tons of fun. And don't forget our famous oyster and clam fritters. Special events include fireworks on July 7th and a week of pony penning activities July 23rd through the 28th. Visit our website for more information and join us at this year's Shake Tea Carnival. The environment is my passion. Resulted Optimum. 12 times more effective at removing excess heat than standard memory foam or gel alone. For a deeper, more restful sleep all night long. Fall asleep faster. Stay asleep longer. Optimum by Sealy Posturepedic. Scott's Furniture. Route 13 Bridgeville and scottsfurniture.com. For that durable, invisible, million-dollar view, call Superior Screen and Glass today. Time is just about to turn to 526. So let's take a look at this day planner. For your Thursday, it's pretty much the same as yesterday. Mild start this morning, actually a little cooler this morning, but between 7 and 8, we'll be closer to 70 degrees. As we continue into the afternoon, still mid-80s, still feeling warm, but not quite as hot, not as sultry as last week. Enjoy today, enjoy tomorrow, both days overall partly cloudy, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Late Friday though, we can start to see some scattered showers and storms. Saturday seems to be the better chance of seeing some rain, but even Saturday will not be a complete washout. Late Sunday into Monday, another round of some scattered showers and storms, but we're gonna get warmer by the end of the weekend and the start of next week, we're back into the 90s, but around the early to middle part of next week, that sunshine should be coming back, and but still hot, with readings getting back into the mid 90s. But now let's take a look at those morning sports highlights. Here's ESPN's Randy Scott. Good morning, Randy Scott here with your Sports Center update. And we start with one of the...